We honor the past, celebrate the present, and then nurture the future. With memorabilia, incredible photographs, and more, this celebration is happening inside the Box Center Wang Theater in Boston. And right now, music lovers from all over the world are flocking to the Folk Americana Roots Hall of Fame, or Farhof. It is a living museum in the heart of a live performance stage. And as Kristen Aka shows us tonight, it's shining a spotlight on music history. It's unlike any other museum that you would be able to go to here in Boston or elsewhere in the U.S. From glass display cases in the hallways to rooms filled with rare artifacts, the Folk Americana Roots Hall of Fame is spread throughout the Wang Theater. The attention to history that they paid here is amazing. You know, guitars that you never see anywhere else and just really cool memorabilia. And right now, there's one very special exhibit. What is there to say about a Bruce Springsteen exhibit? It's phenomenal. More than 40 photographs taken by half a dozen photographers. And it's great to see, like, through the years. I, I love the fact that it gives many different eras of Bruce, different faces of his personality. It really gives you an insight to who he is as a person, as well as a performer. The specific collection from the Springsteen archives is making its debut right here in Boston. We see this larger-than-life presence on stage that we admire and we listen to, but to actually see those photos of him with his friends and his family. Those are the special ones. Fans of the boss can't get enough. Just to see how, you know, see him young and see how he's aged and see the band, uh, I think that was really interesting. I've seen Springsteen nine times, and um, my sister has seen him 60 times. Dina McLeod, the owner partner of the Museum Collective, tells us roving exhibits like this one are crucial. Any Hall of Fame that's done right, isn't a static entity. It's not just focused on things in cases of people that passed away long ago. It's how does that influence today? How does that educate a new generation to find their own voices? Who's the next Bruce Springsteen? That's what we want to do. Uh, inspire these young people to understand that they have a voice and what they have to say is important and we're listening. The Springsteen exhibit is just part of the experience, something Box Center historian Scott Towers tells us is a welcome surprise for some. They'll leave saying, wow, I didn't know I was going to get a full behind-the-scenes tour and stand on one of the biggest stages in the country. I didn't understand that it was really inside the theater itself, but I love that. I think it makes it that much more real because that what you're seeing, so much of what you're seeing actually happened here. As somebody who grew up in the area, the opportunity to come into the theater at a time where you're not, you know, with a whole mass of people coming in for a show. So appreciating the building as well as being able to see something like this, it's really special. We have so much rich music history in this city, but there isn't necessarily a place that celebrates it, and we want to be that place. I want it to be firmly planted so that when people talk about going to music museums, they think about the Grammy Museum in L.A., they think about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, in Cleveland and they think about Farhoff in Boston. That's that's where they should come. So the Springsteen exhibit at the Folk Americana Roots Hall of Fame is up through April 7th and we have all the details on our website WBZ.com. It's always cool when you learn about something that's right in your backyard that's that you true. didn't know about, right? Awesome.